Hello, I'm Smuggler Jim for the Conquer Public News Network, live above the flagship Wolf. Um, we're floating around right now out in the Atlantic, and I have with me today Scarlett J. No worries, Smuggler Jim. How are you? <laughs> Great. So, Scarlett J, tell us what your role is in the in the Conquer Republic. You're in the military in the Conquer Republic. You're I, a leader of the military. I, I am. Um, I'm in a few of the military force branches at the moment, actually. I am the command of the Conquer Public Army. I'm the general of the army. And I am also lead of the Conquer Public Privateers, which is a branch of the army. Um, I'm also a member of the Conquer Public Navy. I've been sailing with the Wolf for about 10 years now. And uh, I am currently the, a chief gunner in the Conquer Public Navy. And as Captain Pindar explains it, it's a meritocracy and I keep showing up, so he's going to keep promoting me. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. So, so uh, that's a lot of titles. It is. For one person, so it you're is. very active. Yes, and I have goals, man. I have okay. goals. I'd love to join the Air Force, um, simply because that looks like fun going loop de loop up there, man. They have a great time, especially at battle. And you are a gunner, so. Uh, you know, um, the, the CIA is quite shh about things. I haven't quite found out when the meetings are, but I might join the CIA one day. Yeah, uh, they also have the, um, the CIA has the 82nd Auburns. Have they you heard do, about the 82nd they do. Auburns? And they're especially cute and they're redheads. So, uh, you know, <laughs> they've invited me. Again, I haven't found the meeting. <laughs> yeah, you need to jump in there on that. Tell, tell me, what, what does the privateers do? What exactly? I haven't heard uh, of that one. You know, we're just, uh, there's, there's a huge population of lovers of the Conquer Public. Uh, approximately, I guess, at least three to 400 very close international pirate friends of mine. And uh, they've come down for events such as uh, Fort Taylor Pirate Invasion, Pirates of Paradise Festival, um, things like that. And so in order to get them involved in the Conquer Public uh, celebration, and especially the battle, because at least most of them are gunners, um, and we all love black powder, uh, we just began a Conquer Public privateer contingent. So. So you're responsible for bringing these pirates into Key West. Is that what you're saying? No, they, they were coming, and I showed up, and then you organized I just happened the pirates. to be in the right place at all the wrong moments, and got it done. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to think about someone who's uh, in charge of organizing pirates. I want to watch it's out for this one. It's a lot like herding cats, actually. I would complain about that often. <laughs> oh, it, it's hard enough to organize regular folks. I, I imagine organizing pirates is an even even harder job. They're very right. So, so you've been on the Schooner Wolf for 10 years. I, it's uh, probably about that. No, maybe, maybe just less than that. Um, the Wolf had a sail to Belize, and it was right about that time that I joined the crew. Uh, how, what's it like working on the, the Wolf? Oh, it's terrible, man. The captain's mean. Um, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a pleasure. Um, I'm honored to be on the flagship of the Conquer Public, honestly. This is a beautiful vessel. I've been aboard other... Um, tall ships in, in harbor here and uh, as much as I love them all and we have a beautiful amazing fleet, um, the wolf is old school. Uh, she's got an old soul, she sings her own song. She is all uh, wench power instead of winch power as Captain describes it. The original wolf crew is all women so we're all wolf wenches and uh, the uh, it's all put your back in it and into it and sweat and toil and uh, no complaining or you'll get a flogging. So. <laughs> <laughs> Good old-fashioned flogging. Wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> so, so what? Um, you know, during the Conquer Public Independence Celebration, you know, there's a lot of events that go on. We were just talking to Julie earlier about all the different events. What's your favorite event? Battle. The battle. Of course, it is. The right? battle. You get to bring out the firepower absolutely, and, absolutely. and blow stuff up. Um, you'll see. Most people don't realize it's it's there, but they know it's there, but they don't realize what it is at the pier on Mallory. We have the little T pier that the cruise ships used to dock up to, yes. and uh, we line up our cannons. Usually, we have a couple of uh, um, eight-inch howitzers. Uh, we bring what we call the grasshopper. She's a she's a, a small field gun, uh, about an inch and a half bore. We got a grasshopper. Grasshopper. That's grasshopper. Our big gun is Rebecca. <laughs> yep. Uh, they all have names. They all have their own attitude for sure. Um, yeah, so we like to line up our guns and fire big booms, and uh, the more the merrier. So we, and then we, we store play... these guns in your backyard when we're not no. using them? Oh, I wish. I've asked. <laughs> um, although last year we did bring her back and she did park in my driveway. I now have a driveway. 
And, uh, I bet that's a good Instagram photo of us having a pallet or sitting in your under a driveway. <laughs> and, and Grasshopper was tucked right underneath her too. Yeah, there's actually a lot of police and military in my neighborhood. Yeah. I had a lot of questions that week. So the your, your neighbors don't mess with you much, I would imagine. No, nope, not so much. Don't, don't jack with them. No, the kids don't run on my lawn, you know, things like that. <laughs> so outside of working on the wolf, is there, do you do anything else around town? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Um, my primary day job is, my full-time day job, sorry, I guess I should say that, is uh, with the Florida Keys Children's Shelter. I am a program coordinator of Project Lighthouse. That is a street outreach program. And in the very shortest version, what we're trying to do is meet runaways, street, and homeless youth and try to get them some help, point them in the right direction, show them the way, and uh, see if we can't be some support to them. Young modern day pirates. Well, that is what a, uh, an awesome thing to do. I didn't even know that project existed. I'm glad that someone's out there doing that. And, um, you know, that's a, a, a sacrifice that you make to, you know, do this outreach for those guys. That's awesome. I, uh, I actually consider it a pleasure. It's really, I, I've done it for about 12 years now. The program's about 15 years old. Um, I've been leading it for about 12 years, and it gets better every year. So, I, uh, by better, I mean, um, we're better at what we do in a lot of ways, and uh, over time, we're seeing more and more success for these kids. So, you know, sometimes it takes a while to get a, a, a hardcore kid to kind of they're, they're find tough. those they, things that succeed for them. They put on a tough outer shell, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, where are you originally from? Montreal, Canada. Oh, Canadian. Hi. So you're a long way from I, Canada. When I'm, when I'm in pirate <laughs> mode, everybody guesses everywhere else. But I'm, I'm a, a yeah, northerner. How did you end yeah. up in Key West? Uh, by luck, by chance, by joy. Um, I've been coming to Key West visiting since I was about you know, knee-high to a grasshopper six years old or so. My parents uh, moved us to Hollywood, Florida um, when I was about five, school age start. And uh, we've been visiting Key West, just you know, come on down the road. I remember you know, fighting traffic over the highway when I was could barely see over the seat, you know, when we had to share one and a half lanes of US-1. Um, I remember, you know, taking my first trolley ride. I remember uh, way back when, but I've been coming down to Key West regularly, at least once a year. And uh, my sister and I recently did a lot of, we have, we're twins, so we come, we make sure to get together for our birthday. And Key West is a great, um, great spot to do that. When I was in college and I kept coming in between papers and theses and degrees and, you know, just to take a break and met some people down here and just started to love it. Wow. Well, we're glad you're here. You add a lot of um, a lot of uh, character and charm to Key West, and that's that's what Key West is all about. Is the uh, you know we we don't want to take ourselves too seriously, right? Never. So we want to we want to have a. It's all about a state of mind, you know, uh, out there in the world. All the craziness is going on, and this is a place that you come to to forget about all that, you know. And um, we are an outlet for it, you know. I find and, um, this is my kind of crazy. Down that's here. a good kind of crazy, you know. That, crazy. Um, one of the sayings is, "This is where the weird go pro." Absolutely. You know, so with. Um, Every, every aspect of it adds to the overall, you know, uh, weirdness and craziness that we all come to know and love. And we want to continue that on, obviously. And even through these tough times, that's one thing about uh, the keys is when things get tough, everybody pulls together and, and uh, we get resourceful, right? I would definitely agree with that. You so, heard the one where you shake the tree and all the nuts are all south? <laughs> you haven't heard that one? That's one of my favorites, too. <laughs> so the nuts always fall <laughs> south, right? Something like that. <laughs> well, thank you so much. We appreciate everything that you do for the Conquer Public. Uh, and it's, uh, uh, you know, love what you do uh, in town and on the on the wolf. Uh, for the Conquer Public News Network, I'm Smuggler Jim, and we appreciate you guys tuning up, tuning in. Um, uh, shout out to our military. Thanks for all you guys do. Shout out to the first responders. We appreciate all all those guys are doing, and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Signing off. Huzzah!